show you how I made this cute little Easter basket using a vintage doily and some vintage trim. Both of these patterns I will link down below and will be available on my blog. And of course the vintage doily will make the bottom of our basket and the vintage trim will make the top. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. All right, so we've got all of our supplies here. We have our bowl to put our doily on, one to mix the Mod Podge in, our bags, our Mod Podge stiffy, and of course our two doilies, or one doily and some trim. So first we're going to take our grocery plastic bag and put our bowl in it. Now this is the bowl that we're going to be putting the doily on once it's all covered in Mod Podge. So this plastic bag is just going to protect this bowl so that it's not um, all covered in icky sticky Mod Podge for a day or two, depending on how long you leave yours. So that is that. Just wrap that up and kind of set it aside. And we also want to take our garbage bag and lay this down over our work surface. This is just so that we don't get Mod Podge all over the place. Grab your Mod Podge and shake it up. We're going to place our doily into the bowl and squeeze some Mod Podge all over it. Now you want your doily to be very, very wet with the Mod Podge. So make sure that you've got enough Mod Podge in there to really get it super wet and like squeeze it around and work it into all the little stitches. Just keep mixing and mixing until it's all covered. Feel like you have enough Mod Podge on your doily so that it is completely drenched, you want to go ahead and start smoothing it over your bowl. And when you do this, just kind of go around the edges and make sure that all of your pretty little scallops and picots and everything are nice and flattened out because the way that you lay it on the bowl right now is the exact way that it is going to stay. So you want to make sure you like the way it looks. Once you've got your doily perfectly on your bowl, we're going to go ahead and take the trim piece and place that in the Mod Podge bowl. And then squirt the Mod Podge all over it. And we're going to do the same thing with this. Just mix, mix it all around and make sure it's completely coated in the Mod Podge. Squeeze it around and get it into all the little stitches and all the little nooks and crannies of that little trim piece. And once it is fully saturated, we're going to go ahead and flatten it out on our little garbage bag. Uh, this is the other reason for the garbage bag. We need a place to lay down our trim piece while it stiffens up overnight or two nights. So if you live in a place that's kind of humid, guys, you may want to leave your Mod Podge um, covered doily and trim piece for two nights. I live in a fairly humid place, so I actually leave my for two nights and I leave a ceiling fan on too. So it, it is like really, really, really dry. Because if your doily um, and the trim piece aren't dry enough, it's they're gonna kind of like wilt and kind of like flatten out. So you wanna make sure that it is really covered in the Mod Podge now and that it is really, really dry before you peel it off of your plastic bags. So go ahead and look at your little trim piece and make sure that it's all the way covered. I'm just grabbing some more glue out of the bowl and just patting it in places that look like aren't like fully covered. 
Another thing I want to tell you guys is that the Mod Podge, when it dries, is actually going to make your work just a little bit darker. So keep that in mind when picking a color um, of yarn to work with. Good morning, everyone. It is two days later, and my doily seems pretty stiff and pretty dry. So I'm gonna start peeling it off of the plastic bag. And I don't know if you guys can tell on camera that it's a little bit darker than it was when it started out, but I really like it. I think it's still a pretty light blue, so I'm going to roll with it. But you know, keep it in mind when choosing a color, like if you want a pink, maybe go for a shade lighter so that when it dries, it'll be a little bit darker. But anywho, just something to keep in mind. So now um, our trim piece is nice and stiff, and we can bend it into an arc to go over our basket. So we can kind of see what it's going to look like. It's pretty cute, huh? So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my needle and some more of my crochet cotton to use as thread to sew and my scissors. I'm using um, it's like a cross stitch needle, you guys. So it's just a needle that's big enough that you can actually get your yarn through it. Um, so go ahead and thread your needle. And we're going to grab our trim piece and you can place it wherever you like. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to place it down into a divot or up on one of the arcs, but I went ahead and chose one of the little arches, one of the scallops, because I feel like I get a little more stability there, um, like a little more space to work with the, um, where I'm sewing. So I'm gonna place the edging piece right there and just stitch and stitch and stitch. And I'm not making new holes in the doily with the needle. I'm actually just going through the holes that are already there. So it's really easy. Just stitch and stitch until you feel like your handle is going to stay on really well. you feel like you've got enough stitches on there to hold your handle firmly on your basket. I'm just gonna flip it over and tie my yarn together. So the end piece and the beginning piece just tie them together and make a little knot so it'll stay. And then we're just gonna grab our scissors and snip those little ends off. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing with the other side. So we're just going to grab our needle and yarn, and stitch it up, tie a little knot, and cut it. done that the basket is all finished thanks for joining me guys I hope you enjoyed the basket tutorial and I hope your basket turns out just adorable and have a happy Easter if you liked this video go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see more videos like it and uh, give it a thumbs up thanks guys I'll see you next week Beep.